Hello everyone, Irfan Zardad Khan from Javelin Technologies here showing you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2014. So today we'll be looking at uh, the ability to use the contact pressure plots in 2D simplified studies. So we have already made use of the axis symmetry of this model to create a two-dimensional study. So let's look at our model setup. Uh, we have created a shrink fit uh, between these two edges okay and we have applied two fixtures we have fixed one edge over here and we have applied a roller slider fixture to this edge allowing it to grow uh, radially but constraining it from any axial movement so let us just run this to the end because this is an axisymmetric study, a 2D simplification, it should run relatively quickly. So there we have we have the stress plot, the von Mises stress, due to the shrink fit operation. We can look at the displacement, so the part displaces in one direction. So we can see uh, the displacement in the, in the part. So the outer part has moved out, creating uh, that shrink fit. Let us create a new, define a new type of plot and that's going to be a contact pressure plot. So let's go under a stress plot. Uh, from the type of the component of the stress plot, I'm going to choose the contact pressure. Now we can visualize the contact pressure in two ways. We can either show it as a 3D plot. So let's try that option first. We have to choose the angle around which we are rotating our body. So we'll not create a fully closed model, but we'll create a partial 330 degree revolve of that. And we'll choose the true scale option. We don't want a highly deformed result. Let's hit OK. And there you have the contact pressure plot in 3D. Uh, alternatively, you can also create this plot as a vector plot. And then it's more clear on the interface what type of pressure is acting. So the maximum value of that contact pressure can be seen on this chart. Hope you'll find this new enhancement really useful. Uh, up to SOLIDWORKS 2014, the contact pressure plot was available in the 3D studies, but it was not available in 2D studies. Uh, having it available in 2D studies really extends the functionality of SOLIDWORKS simulation and really makes it useful. Uh, this type of plot will be available both in linear and nonlinear studies. Enjoy.